All right, guys, welcome to the video. If you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing and keeping up to date with the latest gaming industry news, rumors, and leaks with a heavy focus on PlayStation. And occasionally we take a look at Xbox, Nintendo, and PC. As always, the timestamps are available in the description. And today we're taking a look at the whole Helldivers 2 Sony account linking mess with PSN. Helldivers 2 kicked off the year as one of the biggest surprise hits of 2024. And even after a few months from the release of the game, it's still making sales headlines. Last week, the game hit its first major issue that has drawn a lot of criticism from players who've gone on to massively review bomb the game on Steam. And review bombing is a whole separate discussion that I made a short video on. I think I have to expand on it in quite some detail, but let's leave review bombing to one side. So it was announced on Friday that all Helldiver 2 players on Steam from the 4th of June 2024 onwards will be required to link their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. You will have to do it. That was the PlayStation directive. A message from Sony on Steam read as follows due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2 we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be a temporary option that grace period will now expire this is being done as part of a protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation this did not get a great response from players and subsequently the game was review bombed massively to over 100,000 negative reviews in a very short period of time Arrowhead Studios Chief Officer Officer Johan Pilsted on Twitter went on to apologize to players for how all this has transpired. Johan went on to say, ouch, right in the review score. Well, I guess it's warranted. Sorry everyone for how this has all transpired. I hope we will make it up and regain the trust by providing a continued great game experience. I just want to make great games. Now, some people were not sure why this was all a big issue at all. Account linking between platforms is a common practice and often is a key step for features like crossplay and cross progression to be supported. The issue part Partly is the fact that you can have a Steam account in more countries than you can have a PlayStation Network account. So post June the 4th, there will be players across the world who will no longer be able to play Helldivers 2 because of the restriction of not being not being able to actually access a PlayStation Network account. There's no physical way you can get one. It's not available in that country. That's the first big issue. These players could try using a VPN, but that would risk Sony taking action on their account should they be detected in doing so, resulting in the player being banned. So that's not really a viable option. Players are also taking issue with Sony's claim that it's something to do with with a mandated security reason, with some pointing to Sony's history of security breaches over the last decade as their reasoning for not trusting Sony when it comes to security. Others are lamenting a fatigue and sheer frustration around having to have a publisher or developer specific account for every game they play. It is getting ridiculous now, really, to be honest. It's important to note that this was a requirement originally intended to be in place by Sony to play the game on Steam. It was a requirement when the game was initially uh, scheduled and, and ready to be released onto the PC platform. It just wasn't enforced due to Arrowhead and Sony focusing on increasing server capacity and dealing with other issues and glitches at launch. It should also be clear that the blame for this being a requirement is all on Sony, not Arrowhead. This is a, a Sony directive, not Arrowhead. And however, the move from Sony caused immense backlash from gamers worldwide. And over the weekend, Sony removed Helldivers 2 from sale on Steam in more than 170 regions as per the Steam D be. This was actioned by Sony following Sony's push to enforce a requirement for all Helldiver 2 Steam players to link their Steam and PlayStation accounts. When Helldivers 2 launched, no one saw its success coming, which was apparent in the fact that Arrowhead had to work quickly as it could to make the servers handle such an unexpected amount and increase in volume of players. It was a wonderful surprise for Sony and Arrowhead to have Helldivers 2 do so well. And a huge part of that success came from the fact that the game released day and date or simultaneously as it did on the PS5 on PC. Um, it was a live service game rather than a single player game, but nonetheless, it released at the same time on PC as it did on PS5, and maybe that had a huge part for its success. All was going well until Sony made the decision to push and enforce a requirement that is now clear nobody wants. The amount of player backlash from all the Helldiver 2 community, not just in those regions where they can't even get a PSN account, seems to be overwhelming. And fast forward to the early hours of this morning, PlayStation announced that it no longer plans to push the controversial Helldiver to PlayStation Network account linking update. The global public outcry has seemingly convinced Sony to rescind its decision. The extreme public backlash was even severe enough to catch the attention of the developers, with members reportedly hosting internal discussions regarding how to resolve Helldivers 2's biggest controversy since its release and negotiate possible alternatives with publisher Sony. Now it seems the negotiations have borne fruit and the wave of negative reviews for Helldivers 2 and the calls for refunds have convinced the publisher 
Twitter to rethink its strategy. The official PlayStation account on Twitter shared a post stating that it was scrapping plans for the account linking update and that players will be able to continue sp spreading the managed democracy without a PSN account for the foreseeable future. PlayStation concluded the post by additionally thanking PC players for their feedback and promising to keep them updated on future developments for Arrowhead Game Studios hit PVE cooperative shooter. Fans were overjoyed by the announcement with the majority of users calling it a collective win for the player base as a whole. However, there were some who remained concerned over the game's future. Several people are still particularly worried whether this only had learned its lesson or not, or if this recent victory for the fans was only delaying the implementation of an account linking requirement to a later date. There were additional users who questioned if this meant Helldivers 2 would return to the 170 odd regions where sales were discontinued, and I suspect that will be switched on when, if it hasn't already been done so. But now that Sony and Arrowhead Game Studios account linking controversy is seemingly over, players will be looking forward to diving back into Helldivers 2. Despite the recent storm, additional content is still expected to hit live service soon with the Helldivers 2 upcoming Polar Patriots Warbond scheduled for release on May the 9th. Great move in the end to continue as it is. I suspect that the game will not be connected to PSN account going forward, especially if it causes so much controversy. I think Sony will learn from this. They will have to if they want to make PC gaming a success for them. They just need to ensure that the account linking is ready and working properly at launch. If they did that, they wouldn't have had all this mess. I mean, how many other games require account linking? Look at Rockstar, Ubisoft, Active. Division EA and they're just some it's pretty much all of them need some kind of account linking right so this isn't something new most publishers require you to connect to their specific accounts so they can access your data because by using your data they can analyze engagement rates learn how and when to release content for future updates offer discounts and sales especially for live service multiplayer games I suspect the future PC game releases will have the account linking as a non-negotiable from the start from the beginning right but you also have to look at this and ask yourself look how successful for Helldivers 2 is worldwide. It's an absolute phenomenon. Imagine if the PSN account linking was working from the beginning and there were no issues and there were no glitches. Imagine how many players globally would not be able to access the game because the PSN account linking option is not available. You don't have access to the PlayStation network in some regions and in some countries. So it does make you wonder how many gamers wouldn't had not had the opportunity to play the game from the beginning. And of course, the issue around the security at Sony, which put a lot of people off, I, sus I suspect. They have been hacked before on numerous occasions over the last 10, 15 years. It's a real problem of engendering gamers to trust your platform. I think Sony needs to work on this, specifically if it wants to have a player base on PC platforms and it needs PC players and PC gamers to trust that their information and data is secure. I think they're going to need to work specifically harder with the PC gamers if they want them to trust that the platform is safe. But uh, I suppose all in all, in all as we got there in the end, right? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments about today's topic. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.